Hello everyone, welcome back to Bootstrap Workbench. Today I wanted to uh, start getting back towards uh, doing some repair videos. Uh, I had made an earlier video about this radio uh, that I'm going to take down. I had made some pretty serious mistakes in the video. Um, got my uh, frequencies and my bands mixed up. Uh, probably shouldn't be trying to create videos at 0400 uh, just before I go to bed. Uh, I wanted to thank uh, Guy, G4DWV, for uh, pointing out the errors that I had made earlier. Uh, I appreciate uh, any and all feedback. So, on this radio, uh, this radio was given to me uh, several years ago, and uh, it's been sitting on a shelf. Um, the issue that it has is that it makes full power on some bands, but uh, not on other bands. And I wanted to uh, show what's going on here and solicit some feedback to see if anybody... Uh, might have an idea of what's going on uh, and I'll tell you where I'm at in the process of uh, working on this radio. So, uh, on the 160 meter band, if I key the radio, I'm in CW mode right now so I can use the send switch, I get good indication here, I get an indication that I'm making almost 100 watts, and my amperage draw at 13.8 volts is 17.9 uh, 18 amps. So if I move up to the 80 meter band and key again then I'm making about 75 watts if I move up to the uh, 40 meter band then I'm getting uh, that's probably about 20 watts if I move up to the uh, 20 meter band or sorry not the 20 meter band to uh, 10 megahertz and uh, key there I'm into a, to a uh, dummy load right now by the way so I'm not uh, connected to an antenna or anything then I see that uh, I'm making about six seven watts uh, and the amperage draw right now is 6.7 amps so uh, if I move up to the uh, 20 meter band and key then I see that I'm making about three watts and as I move up the power output drops uh, over 20 megahertz oh let's see here I'm making about a watt and a half and the amperage draw is 4.3 amps so I'm not sure what's going on there I don't know if maybe I have a, uh, a stuck or uh, non-working relay in the LPF or if there's some other issue in the radio I do have another TS430S that I had purchased to uh, see if I could get the parts to fix this one and uh, it turns out that on that radio uh, there was a couple of cold solder joints and a uh, screw that had uh, come out of one of the boards one of the hold down screws uh, was shorting out the uh, front circuit panel here and so uh, that was an easy fix but I I'd still like to have this TS430S working as well <clears throat> What I've already done is I've already pulled the RF and the IF unit out of this radio, checked for cold starter joints, uh, found a couple of bad repairs for lifted traces that I went back through and uh, repaired a different way uh, so that's a little bit more reliable and uh, that didn't fix the issue. Uh, there's one other issue I'm having with this radio and that issue is that uh, the audio output is uh, very low on this radio. Uh, I would say that it's probably half, uh, maybe a little bit less, uh, of the audio output that I see on my other radio, my other TS430S. So, not quite sure what's going on there either. I think I may have two separate distinct issues. Um, so like I said, if you've seen anything like this on a TS430S, if you have any ideas what it might be, let me know. Uh, my next video is going to be uh, checking the relays on the uh, LPF board. Uh, the only issue with that is... Um, <clears throat> The LPF board is tucked in behind the, P, uh, behind the PA, the power amplifier, and uh, it requires quite a bit of disassembly to get to it. So that's why I was uh, waiting on it until a little bit further in the process. But that'll be my next step. So, if you have any questions, comments, any kind of feedback, put it down below. And uh, I hope that uh, this video has been uh, at least a little bit informative. Uh, and I also hope that you have a great day. And I wanted to thank you for watching. Uh, we're a little bit over 500 subscribers right now and uh, still growing well. So uh, I'll have plenty more videos coming out uh, soon. Just uh, wanted to get this one out there and let everybody know uh, what's going on here and uh, what I'm working on. Have a great day.